I read one of your blogs and it said binaural beats could help me induce a lucid dream. The trouble is I'm not that kind of person that likes binaural beats, I prefer things like subliminal audio or sub subliminal messaging uh, audio tracks. Which one should I choose and which one would help me lucid dream more? Now I want to answer this in a couple of ways. So firstly know that binaural beats are effective, Okay, they will help you lucid dream. Uh, the, the thing is you have to use them properly, so you can't just listen to them as you go to sleep and expect them to like make a huge difference, although that will help you. You know, if you have those 8 or 10 hour long uh, Binaural Beats meditation tracks that, and you listen to that as you fall asleep, it's going to help you, right? It's going to help you relax, it's going to move your brainwave state from one state to another. But in order to really induce and help you build a lucid dream, I found the most effective way is to just to do a wake back to bed, Okay, wake up at say 4 or 5 a.m., play a binaural beats track through your headphones and then try and lucid dream with that track. So it, it's kind of swings and roundabouts, you know, you can't have every binaural beats track giving you success. You know, so, some stuff works for some people and not for others and this is the case with everything, whether it's supplements, you know, diet plans, training regimes or whatever. You know, some binaural beats just won't work for you. And that's fine, you know, the, you don't need to be concerned with, you know, making sure everything works for you. As long as some things and as long as you find the most effective way. But that's really what it's all about here, guys. Just finding the most effective thing for you that's going to help you personally to lucid dream. It doesn't matter what works for somebody else, you know, if, if you can use that and it's going to support what you're doing, then fine. But if not, you know, don't be caught up in reading someone's story on Reddit or, you know, on a forum or something and they, they say, oh wow, this, this technique works for me and it's amazing and I've been able to lucid dream so easily just by doing this one simple thing, you know, it's always, it's always that one simple thing. Uh, but don't be caught up in whether that works or not for you because everyone's different. You know, they might not even be telling the truth, for one, they might be exaggerating, they might be just trying to get clicks or views on Reddit, that's a, a common thing that people do. Um, they might be telling the truth, but even if they are, and even if a story like that is true, it doesn't mean it's going to work for you. You know, there's no guarantee that anything will work for you personally, unless you've tried it, and unless you've actually seen whether it will. Uh, now that being said, the fundamentals, you know, the basics of this stuff will always remain the same. The actual fundamental things and habits you need to do, I'm not going to explain them again, because I feel like I say them in every video, okay? But they won't change. So as long as you focus on learning the actual important stuff and let you know spend less time worrying about this newfound like fad trending technique or slight variation on a certain method using certain supplements, like forget all of that stuff. And for the most part, you can forget most devices as well because they're not gonna they're not gonna be as effective as just learning how to do it. Just like anything, like riding a bike, you know, what's gonna help you learn to ride a bike more is actually riding the bike. It's not learning about it online or reading an article about it, you know, or it's not even choosing the right bike to buy or getting a bike with certain features or, you know, flashy brakes and gears. What really matters is just getting on the bike and physically learning and trying to ride it. And it's the same with lucid dreaming, you know, you, you've got to spend less time worrying about the technicalities of this stuff, you know, the, the crowdfunding campaigns for these devices, which some of them work, some of them don't. But regardless of whether they do or don't work, you know, put that aside to one second and just focus on actually learning what lucid dreaming is and how to do it. You'll have so much more success and it's going to be a lot cheaper for you as well. Thanks for watching guys. This video and this channel are supported by my Patreon followers. Please consider giving just a dollar a month to support this channel or just click the links in the description. You'll find links to various lucid dreaming products, articles, techniques and tutorials. If you did enjoy this video, please click the notification bell and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Why are you still watching this? You should have clicked one of my related videos by now, right? Or subscribed or gone onto my website or something like that.
Thank you.